Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gokhan, and I'm Black Master at Perth City Web Design, Gopomrayu. And here's another session. And these sessions I've been doing for a while now. Um, usually, I start with a group on those tips and tricks, and there is another tips and tricks that uh, might be useful for you. And uh, hopefully, you'll enjoy it. So, today actually, I'll be specifically going through how you can actually add uh, subcategories using um, WooCommerce. So obviously you need to have categories first in order to create subcategories. So if you haven't created a category yet, um, I'd love you to check out that the video I've done before. So if you can click on the link right there, then that's going to take you to um, the video where I've pretty much explained how you can create your category. So let's get to it. Let's create our um, subcategory. So I'm just going to go to the back end of, of my website. Someone's playing a loud music, and I don't know why. So, yeah. all right. So, what I'm gonna do is because I'm um, imagine that you are creating this subcategory from scratch. So, got to go to products and category. I'm not gonna upgrade it. Oh my god, trust me, I'm afraid. So I'm just gonna call this subcategory. I mean, you might have noticed now the steps are pretty much the same as how you can close this lower case. So, what I'm gonna do, so we got subcategory here. I'm gonna choose one of the categories here, so let me go ahead and choose um, one of the categories here, let's say casual, right? So that's pretty much it, I mean, we got the subcategory inside this main casual category called subcategory, and that's that's pretty much it. That's how you can create your WooCommerce subcategory. And you can see it's it's kind of got a line here, and that means that it's under the casual. So um, one thing I've got a I actually noticed on this side. They actually don't have. Um, they actually set all these categories as main category. Um, you could also do that, but to um, to make it more manageable, I would you know, suggest you to do. I suggest you to add the subcategory um, inside your main category if you got one. So that would make your life a bit easier. So. If I go into one of these categories, so they look like um, 
look like suffering which you will not do Um, yeah, we've created the sub -area. so what I'm going to do now, we need to create a new page, basically, for the sub -area. So I'm just going to go to Pages and Add New, and that should take me to yes. So that should take me to class item. Category. Just remember we've got upper case here for the pages. So for this place, um, for this text area here, we need to use WooCommerce um, form. So what we will do is we will tell WordPress that oh okay so please use the WooCommerce and, and call some function to WooCommerce plugin even display some products there depending on what the time is here. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put um, my items here. I just can I can put product by category slug or category. I'm just gonna put product category. Um, if I place here now sub cat uh, category low case display sub category. So what this will do, this will show this page will show everything inside that WooCommerce sub category. Basically. So I'm gonna publish this page. Once I've done this, we also need to create the menu for this page. So we will let you know that and you can access this page now without creating any menu. You can access this subcategory. So if I just copy this and paste it there, you should be able to see. So you should be able to see something there at least subcategory or yeah so you can see something there now. Um, what I'm what I need to do now is to create a menu so we can actually see um, something down casuals right because this was the part of casual main category. So I'll have to go appearance and menu. Make sure this is saved. So it says page page publish. Make sure that press publish. In that button there, first you see this publish, then it becomes turns into update. So whenever you update something you gotta go and press that button. So we got our page here. We need to add this to our menu. So once that's done, I can put subcategory there. So I can move this further a little bit. So that will be now on the casual. If I move a little bit, if I go down and move a little bit left, so that will be the independent menu item. But if I move this to the right a little bit, like that, so that will be casuals, that will be independent, that will be on the casuals as a drop down. So, this means you can see the subcategory inside this drop down. You can't see it now because I haven't pressed the save menu button. So, once I press that, you can see that. Actually, I should be able to see this subcategory under casuals now. Reason we won't be seeing anything because that subcategory will not, you know, I haven't added any products inside the subcategory, so that's the reason. Now you can see the subcategory there, 
and again, it depends on your um, on how, how the website is set up. So on this particular one, I've got subcategories. You know, we've got a uppercase. I've got lowercase here, and for the main menu items, these are all um, uppercase. So the subcategory, I'll probably have to change it. So it is you know, very much same um, format as the other. So we don't want to get quite too ugly. We should start getting different kind of format along the line because, you know, um, lowercase, the other one's uppercase, and you know, people start getting confusing. Confusing won't be presentable as well. So we got the subcategory. So if I click on subcategory, we won't see anything. And that's how you add a subcategory, pretty much. And let me just fix this as well. Um, so I'll go to subcategory. Now I can just edit the page here, right? So we know we are on the subcategory page. So that's going to take me to subcategory. So I can just change this. Add it and we when I add the products, um, we'll be able to see on the next video I'll be adding the products. And once I I got the I got the product on this category, we'll be able to actually play it scroll a little bit and you know, got different. Different um, options there, so should be able to play around with it a little bit more. So I'm just going to update this now. So we've got the lower cases. Yeah, so I'm just going to use it size. I'm going to navigate to casual and as you can see that's what the change is on. Thanks very much and hope you learned something and we'll see you next time.